just run a little uh, intensity. Um, I think our, we had a little bit more pop in our step, started a little sluggish. Um, had nothing to do with scheme. You know, you could say the second out of back to back, you know, that's an easy one to fall on. But I thought we just kind of slowed, started slow and uh, kind of picked up our momentum, picked up our defense intensity. And there's a little bit more urgency in everything we were doing. What can you say about the, the game that Thomas Sadoransky had? Uh, zero points, but <laughs> it's a very unique stat line, actually. It is. I don't think I've seen, seen that too often. Yeah. Uh, just how did that help you guys, that approach? And what did you say about this player? It, it's just he's about winning. You know, whatever it is in that moment, you know, he needs to make a bucket, he'll try. But he's trying to facilitate, keep us organized. You know, his ability and size defensively, he's, he's had great moments. And, you know, obviously that big part of the defense is rebound. Be able to you know make plays. It just shows an unselfish nature. I mean, he's not the only one. He's a big piece of that. You know, 35 assists. Uh, you know, and our record when we accumulate you know 28 or more is really good. You know, I mean, it's just you know arbitrary number, but uh, that's how we have to play. You know, continue to move the ball, move and share it. Uh, play second and third side. I think it's uh, it's a good recipe. Lex, you're talking about that. Uh types of wins that are good for teaching lessons. Did this count as, as one of those, all the things you just mentioned? Yeah, I think so to some degree. I mean, there, there were a lot of good individual moments. Of course, KP had a big second half. Uh, you know, Sato's, uh, you know, double-double was a busy unique feat. But I thought really, again, all, all the guys, Corey had, you know, good stretches-ish gap in the second half was, was tremendous. Um, you know, and, and AG, of course, comes in, that doesn't play much, and he impacts the game. But another guy, like Howell, you know, who's been out of the rotation and has done it, you know, a couple games this week where he sits for 46, 47 minutes. And you ask a guy to go in, a lot of guys were like, no, uh, I'm good. But the fact that he's still willing to do the right thing uh, and go in in those moments, to, you know, to give his teammates a break, that's true professionalism. And, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed by us uh, because it's, that, that's who we have to be, unselfish to a fault. You also mentioned kind of the confidence of the young guys. What have you seen, especially with Corey and the swing just from the beginning of the year? Where he was really figuring a lot of things out. Yeah, but I think the, you know, the speed of it was the biggest probably change for him. Um, but he's, he's gotten accustomed to it. He knows how he can impact things and finds nuanced ways to get open to score. I think a lot of the, de the devil's in the details for him. And he's shown his attention to detail and it's paying off. Um, it goes beyond just making shots. What did you think about Rui's level of aggression today and him getting into paint? It was great. And I think it's, a, you know, once again, a steady diet of that. You know, mixing in the threes, you know, paint attacks, you know, the post-ups, all those areas I think he uh, you know, can improve on. But it's just the, the balance of it. You know, he's, he's learning how to move it, you know, make, make quicker decisions. And he's not hesitating. You know, I think that, that helps him, uh, you know, be shot ready, but also opens up things for his teammates. What have you discovered about Porzingis' intensity since he started to play for you? Well, I think it's just more his health as a group. You know, he hadn't played for a long time, so he's getting his legs under him, and he's getting his wind back. Uh, and, and now he's developing that you know, internal chemistry we've been looking for. So um, it, it's running on all cylinders for him right now, which is great. Uh, you know, it's, uh, we know we can score, but, you know, there's a level of uh, – to your point, intensity even on the defensive end. There's effort. He's trying to make plays around the basket. Um, you know, trying to block shots and be a rim protector. Um, but you know, just to have another veteran guy out there. You know, you got him and Pope. You know, who's done a terrific job for us all season. But you know, to have to shoulder the burden. You know, as our veteran core. You know, down the stretch here is it's a tall task. But those guys have stepped up. Wes, KP has talked about a lot about how embraced. Uh, he's still on this team and, and how good the fit is. What do you think about in terms of the mix of experienced guys and, and younger guys, the way you're playing, the minutes available you kind of had, what makes this team a good fit for Prisingus from your point of view? Well, I think the, uh, the fact that guys are willing to, to play together or at least try. And I think sometimes it's, it's frustrating when um, you'll feel involved, but I think we're you know, using him in a lot of ways. Um, I think a lot of it we need him to score, but he's also doing some other things for us. So uh, just to think the ball, I think the ball movement is, is a, it's an easy one. When everyone touches it, they feel involved, they feel part of it. And I think that uh, you know, 
know, not only you know, gets guys more, I guess, best in what we're doing, but they like playing together. You know, it's, it seems kind of simple, but the more you share it, you know, guys, guys enjoy it. When we get the payoff and shots go in, of course, now that changes your defense. You guys will be more locked in, more intent, uh, and more purpose on that end of the floor. But I think from an offensive perspective, he just likes the fact that uh, guys have a willingness to play uh, play for each other. Friday will be the first time you face uh, play against Spencer Dinwiddie since Detroit Burtons too. But how do you describe the season Dinwiddie had for, for the team? For us? Yes. I mean, it was a tough one. I mean, we started off strong and you know, a lot of things were going right. Uh, and, you know, not necessarily his fault, Dobby's his fault. You know, I think he made that point early. And it was everybody's fault. And it, it didn't work to the way we wanted, and a change was needed. So um, that's just life in the NBA. You know, and, and I think the, the fact that now that you know, both guys involved in that trade have been you know, very productive for their respective teams. So it's a good fit for both groups and a great opportunity for both. Important stat of the night. Have you ever played alongside a point guard who got 0, 10, and 13? I don't think so. That might be the first time I said it's incredible to get a double double with all the points. Yeah. So I uh, decided to play super well and made the whole team move the ball. He was creating situations to play all the shots. So yeah, he had, he had an amazing game and, and uh, he got us going offensively for sure. So that's up to him. How important was, a, was this for Saturday? Just not even necessarily even this game, but to come back here, you know, he's bounced around a couple of teams since leaving here initially just like do you get the sense that it was important for him to come back has he has he said anything to you anything like that oh well, not in particular you know it was a weird situation because i got traded here and then he had the opportunity to come here um and we were both excited for maybe possibly in the future play together again you know and that didn't happen um and i love playing with him he's you know he knows uh, where to find me and and i know he's being really well so yeah, it's uh, it's good to be reunited and, and, and playing, and most importantly, having fun. What's it been like just winning three out of the last four games um, after you know the, the loss that you guys endured before that? Yeah. yeah, I think it's good. It's good for us that um, that we see the consistency. Um, you know, we're, we're we're bringing it. The other night, you know, our offense wasn't there, but we still fought defensively and and, and stayed. It within the reach, you know, of that game. And um, Chicago is a good team. They play well. I think they guarded me really well. And, and yeah, we, we lost that one, but but I think we didn't, we didn't get too down on ourselves. You know, we're like, okay, we're, 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 there's going to be some losses along the way, but we're heading in the right direction. And, and yeah, tonight we, uh, first half, we kind of started a little bit slow. And, but you know, we're, we're, we're the, the message that we're, um, Transmitting to each other is like, okay, we gotta we gotta pick up our energy first of all, and then we gotta take care of business. So, and then you know, at the, at the end of the first half, that's what we did, and second half, you know, we took even a step further. This is not the first game you've been able to get to the free throw line a lot. Um, what does that do for the team when you can get there 12, 13 times? Yeah, I think some of the situations we don't have much going, and just utilizing that mismatch and, and getting and drawing those fouls in there. Uh, uh, starting to get a pretty good feel of when the guard is going to reach. Sometimes I look for it too much, and, and that's why maybe my I missed the shot. Um, but most of the time, I feel pretty good about it, and, and I can draw the contact and, and you know feel where where it's going to be and, and create something from there. And not only to shoot, but also to you know that this yesterday's game and tonight I, I kind of almost I'm already shooting it, and then I kick it out to somebody that's wide open. You know, so I enjoy making those kind of plays for my teammates. Going back to Shadow, are you encouraging him not to score like that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, like, ask you to call every time. Score. <laughs> no, no, that, that's just his game. He's, yeah. uh, he's really selfless. Um, and uh, and he, he wants to do what's best for the team. And if if he wouldn't be able to score, then people wouldn't guard him. They have to guard him because he's aggressive towards the basket. And that's when he draws in people and then he's kicking out for, for everybody else to shoot the ball. And, and it's. Everybody loves to have a teammate like that that's just so selfless out there and just plays for everybody else. Taking not just tonight, but in general, um, how much do you need kind of touches to feel it really involved and to kind of get going, especially on the defense end? Mm -hmm. 
how sorry like how important is just getting touches with it at the start of the day just oh, kind yeah, of working yeah. for them to yeah. feel yeah 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 um i think it's it's just like human nature like we all want to be involved in offense and our energy is going to be better on the defense you know it's just it's just how it is and the games like tonight where everybody is making shots and we are sharing the ball and everybody's feeling good our, you know our defense takes takes, takes shots. To the next, to, we take it to the next level defensively, energy wise and intensity wise. We might not always make the right rotation, but we keep playing and we keep having each other's back. Um, so, yeah, and, and, and that's it for myself also. I like to get in a, in a decent rhythm right away. Otherwise, it's kind of like you're, you're running after the game. You're like late, you're, you're, you don't feel in a good rhythm, and then you maybe force a shot that's not there, things like that. So, um, I like what we've been doing lately. I've been going pretty good, starting the game off better than I did maybe earlier once I got when I got here. Uh, so yeah, um, and we, have to, we have to keep going this way and, and translate that energy into defense. You've played against a former team before. What do you think Friday night's game against the Dallas will feel like, if anything, different? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be fun, I think. Um, Dallas is one of the best teams uh, in the league. They're playing really well lately. Uh, Lucas playing at a super high level. Dorian, I think, had a career high tonight also. Um, that's my guy. And, and, and uh, I'm happy for those guys that are playing really well. Uh, and I think it's going to be a good game. It's not going to be like my first game with Dallas in New York. You know, it's like that, one's, uh, that one was just crazy. Um, this one's going to be a bit more, you know. Just competing against my whole team. So yeah, we'll see. We're looking forward to you know focused on ourselves, focusing focused on, on playing our game, playing playing the way we want to play, and uh, and competing against a high level team like that. You had an extremely unique uh, stat. I don't know if someone told you, but only three players in NBA history, uh, zero points and double double. Uh, how did that come about? I don't know if it's good or bad, you know. So. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just uh, just let the game come to me a little bit, you know, being trying to be aggressive. But uh, every time I drive or was aggressive to the basket, it opens up uh, a space for my teammates or a shot for my teammates. So, uh, you know, I try to push the tempo from the beginning. I get some rebounds. And I think my biggest advantage is that <clears throat> when I get the ball, I'm really pushing in the tempo uh, and trying to get an easy basket for others. So. I had some assists there, you know, and I felt good about it. And I really like just two shots that one I forced in a uh, fast break and second was wide open three, you know, end of the game without really shooting it. So, um, I know it just came, like I said, naturally, you know. What's it been like, um, you know, playing your way in the starting lineup and having some success after, you know, the ups and downs you've gone through this season? Oh, it's great. You know, uh, I'm very grateful for having the minutes right now, having, I mean, having a lot of minutes being in the starting lineup, uh, you know, I'm enjoying it the way we play. I think we play uh, very good basketball, passing the ball, very unselfish. Um, we have a lot of willing passers on the team and uh, defensively, I think we play pretty hard. You know, yesterday <clears throat> it was a tough game. I think we both played extremely well in defense. And uh, today we had a little slow start, but uh, you know, we again uh, play the way that we've been playing for a couple of last couple of games, and like I said, I'm I've been very uh, grateful for being in this situation after the season I had. Um, and when you're a competitor like I am, so you you really need you have you need that feeling to be back on the floor and, and enjoying those moments. Yeah, just following up on that, like how much did you kind of need that? Just with the way things have gone, how much of a toll had it taken on you? So again, sorry. Um, like, how much of a toll did like the last, like the way mm -hmm. the last couple of teams just kind, of, the way it unfolded? Like, how much did that kind of weigh on you, and how much did you kind of need like a restart like this? Well, I need a, a restart. That's for sure. You know, uh, when you get uh, out of rotation in certain teams, and the situation is really not good for you, uh, you're obviously looking for some uh, fresh start or for something that that can help you uh, in the process. And uh, you know, I get traded, and uh, <clears throat> I felt like. Uh, the buyout might be a good option to to be somewhere where they know me, what I bring to the table, and and when they want where they want me. So that was uh, my biggest thing, and I know the transition will be much easier than in other teams. And um, you know, it just it just brings in a lot of energy to you as well. 
uh, playing wise. You don't know what to expect, but when you have that fresh start and you know you're in a situation that is good for you, you start playing with different kind of energy. And this is probably a stupid question, but like, is there ever a moment tonight where you tried not to score? You know, like you're, you're racking up the numbers. Like, is there a point where it crosses your mind? Like maybe it'd be cooler just to have zero points and like a double No, number? I wasn't looking for, you know, <laughs> Stat, stat sheet or you know sure. uh wasn't uh just playing for you know double double triple double whatever the case may be uh obviously you know i tried to be aggressive and uh keep keep the defense honest but they were switching a lot and they were aggressive with me and and they came for a lot of help so that opened up the weak side and you know our shooters were able to knock down those open shots and i think a lot of assists came in transition and you know i'm the guy who Really, when he pushed in transition, I always keep my head up and, and trying to look for for open cuts, for open passes. And uh, I think we did a good job with the spacing because it always opens up some shooters in a corner or um, just kept the ball moving. So, you know, uh, wasn't really forcing anything today, I feel. How much do you enjoy playing with Rui? Um, you set him up a bunch of times today, including the uh, transition dunk you had before the half. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's been great. We I I known his game for you know three years. I play against him with the national team. It, obviously, it's always a little different, you know, uh, uh, with your own national teams, and uh, you have a little more responsibility on those teams, especially when you're like one of the one or two uh, players of NBA in your nation. But uh, I'm really enjoying the process to play with him. It's obviously it's getting better step by step. We we. Uh, trying to, you know, have a chemistry on the court. And uh, we've been talking a lot, you know, and, and he's a good listener, you know, and uh, I just told him, you know, there's a lot of op uh, possibilities uh, to get easy baskets and, and he's good running the floor. And I think uh, with with him being a very strong driver, it opens up a lot of uh, things for him. So uh, I've, I've been trying to look for him also in transition. Christos. Hey, Thomas, great game, great win, first of all. You. Uh, you mentioned two days ago in practice uh, how, how Dimitris Gamantidis affect your game, uh, that you look at him during his Panathinaikos days. Tonight, did you feel like uh, Gamantidis? Because you impact the game scoreless, but you have 10 rebounds, 13 assists. You have a great impact on the game. Did you feel like him tonight? Diamantidis would probably score, you know. So, uh, I mean, you know, it's... it's um... It's a game that he definitely played to perfection, uh, the pick and rolls and, uh, you know, kick ahead passes in transition, always knowing what's going on on the floor. And that's something that I'm trying to do as well, you know, just uh, when there's a chance for me to get a rebound, just to see who's running the floor, if there is advantage and just, those are the easiest points that you can really get, you know, especially when you struggle in a, um, set up offense or uh, you didn't have a good minutes. I think that's the easiest way to find uh, the offense to get something going, you know. So um, that's what I did today. It was a lot of up and down game and uh, I had a lot of chance to grab the rebound and we benefited from that. And also for you to see your teammates like Chris Stapps, Rui, Corey Kispert to be impactful on offensive end. As a playmaker, what, that, what does it mean? To see that what? Sorry. For you to see your teammates being impactful on offensive end, have a big a big numbers on offense. Yeah. What does it mean as a playmaker? Well, that means that they shooting the ball well, you know, on a particular night. Uh, and I think we had a good connection with a lot of people there, uh, you know, uh, on the floor when uh, when we do want when we don't have a shooters hot at the moment, we are able to cut and play with each other. And you know, get to the pain and, and look for something else. And uh, I think it's getting better every every game. And uh, you know, <clears throat> also the second unit did a great job. I think Gaff and, and Ish brought a great energy, and then and, and they have it going. So it's good that we finding the chemistry a little bit more on the floor, and uh, that's going to definitely help the next games. Thank you very much. Thank you. Last question, Neil. Hey, Sato, not necessarily about the game, but you, uh, you being a taller ball handler, Denny is also trying to come into his own as a taller ball handler. He mentioned, you know, just off of pick and rolls, you know, you have a view of the floor a lot better than most guys. 
Has there been anything that you've tried to, you know, give him tips and tricks on as he continues to develop? Uh, I don't think really we, we, you know, talk about this aspect of the game, but uh, <clears throat> I noticed that we talk about it with Kristaps on the bench that Danny is a very underrated passer, you know. Uh, I think, uh, you know, he had a couple of nice assists today in transition for the gaff, for his dunks, and uh, he's good uh, kicking the ball to the corners because I feel like, um, you know, he's got that uh, vision and he's obviously tall enough to see over the defenders. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm think, I think uh, he's going to get better with age, you know, with more experiences, with different coverages that are thrown at him. And uh, when I talk with him the most, it's usually about some situation in the game, what I see from point guard perspective, you know, when it's a time to cut for him, uh, when is it the time, you know, to re-space? And uh, I think he's been playing extremely well the last couple of games. And uh, like I said, I was really uh, surprised what I, what I see from him because he's very versatile.